Hi everyone. In today's lecture, we will discuss the features of Java programming language. Okay, that is the agenda for today's lecture. So features of a language is nothing but the services or facilities provided by the language which are used by the programmers for development of real-time applications. Right? Am I right? This is what we call the feature. Is it correct? So we have some buzzwords which are sufficient to know the features of Java. So the Java language can be described by all the, you know, following buzzwords. And what are that buzzwords? Let's see. Like simple, object-oriented, multi-threaded, secure. Then we have high performance, robust, portable, distributed. Then we have dynamic, architecture neutral, networked, and highly interpreted. We are going to see each and every word in detail why Java is called as simple or why Java is called as dynamic programming language. We are going to discuss these things in this lecture. Okay. So now it's time to understand this buzzwords in detail. Okay. So let's start with simple. Let's start with what simple. Fine. So, you know, Java is very simple language. Even a child can understand Java language. So, if you have a child, start teaching them Java and see the magic. So, why I'm saying that Java is a simple language? The first reason is syntax of Java language is similar to other programming languages like C, C++. And therefore, it is simple to migrate from one, from another language and syntax of the Java language is easy to understand and read. You know, this is one plus point. That is why Java is called as what simple language. Another reason is you might have gone through the complex concept called pointers in languages like C and C++. But Java programming language eliminates this complex concept of pointers. So, it is like Tata bye bye to pointer uncle for programmers in Java. Okay. So, we don't have this pointers concept in Java. Okay. The third reason is what? Java provides a built-in facility called garbage collector. You know, Java provides built-in facility called garbage collector. So, basically, garbage collector will collect unused memory space to improve the performance of the Java based application. In fact, Java garbage collection is an automatic process which has the lead role in memory management. Okay. We will see this concept in depth after collections concept. We have to cover this garbage collection. Okay. So for now, just know this much thing. So the next thing is what Java applications will take less time, you know, to execute and it will take less memory also so java application will take less memory and less execution time the next is java programming provides richest set of apis it provides richest sets of api predefined functions predefined methods okay that you can directly use and do your work so this all are the reasons, this all are the reasons which proves that Java is very simple language. Okay. This all are the reasons which prove that Java is a very simple language. Now the next point is what? Dynamic. Why Java is called dynamic? So what do we mean by Java is dynamic programming language? You should know first the meaning of dynamic and static programming language. See. Any programming language which allows memory allocation for primitive data type at compilation time, okay, is called as static programming language. For example, C and C++. Now, in Java, the memory allocation for primitive data type takes place at the time of what? At the runtime, right? This is the reason we are saying that Java is dynamic programming language, even though the objects are created at the runtime. Okay. So, so this is what we call as dynamic and static. Hope this thing is clear to you. In the static, what is happening? The memory allocation for the primitive data type is at compilation type. 
compilation time but but in dynamic case it is at run time at the time of what creating object is it correct let's see the next point so we have the secured why java is called as secured programming language so the first point that i want to mention here is that in order to make java as more secure programming language java people removed the concept of pointers which concept pointer concepts okay they removed you guys might not aware about a beautiful module known as jas it means java authentication and authorization service okay so java has provided this module to provide web security we will definitely learn this beautiful jas at the time of learning spring framework okay don't worry for now since java programming contains dedicated apis for security therefore java is considered as what secured programming language is it clear so don't worry for now we are going to see we are going to see what things this jas jas means what java authentication and authorization services right it is a module to uh, to provide web security so we will cover this thing the next thing is why java is robust robust means what strong right robust means what strong so why i am saying java is a strong programming language or robust programming language there is a reason so we have to cover two points because of this two points java is called as strong or robust so the first is what exception handling and the second is what garbage collector okay so you know because of the concepts like exception handling and garbage collection uh, you know garbage collection is uh, collector is basically uh, used for the memory management so because of these two concepts java is considered as a strong programming language so we will learn these concepts in detail for now this much is sufficient just know that because of these two beautiful concepts java is what robust okay we will see this thing in detail uh, that exception handling and the garbage collector okay so the next thing is what the next thing is high performance so you know java is high performance programming language because of pretty concepts like byte code and garbage collector you know in earlier versions of java compilation is faster than execution time to improve the performance sun people introduced jit compiler as a part of jvm jit means just in time okay so sun people introduced jit compiler as a part of jvm to improve the performance okay now the execution now the execution of java program is done by an interpreter along with a special compiler called jit compiler which reduces the execution time and improves the performance of the application okay i hope this much is clear to you so jit compiler stands for just in time compiler it is the part of what jvm which increases the execution speed of java program remember this point what is jit compiler jit compiler stands for just in time compiler it is the part of jvm which increases the execution speed of a java program clear next interpreted so java is also called as interpreted language programming language why it is called as interpreted see the reason is you know the java language is is said to be interpreted language as the execution of the program is done by the interpreter which is available inside the jvm that is the reason it is called as what interpreted okay hope this thing is clear now the next buzzword is portable so the first thing the first thing is that you should know what do you mean by portable application you should know this thing the meaning of portable application so an application which can run on every operating system and every processor is known as portable application remember this point okay so java is a portable programming language because java based applications can be executed on all the operating systems and on all the hardware systems okay that is the reason java is called as the portable 
programming language okay this means whatever uh, whatever application which you have made using the java okay this can be executed in all the operating systems and on all the hardware systems okay so the next thing is what multi-threaded why java is multi-threaded okay so see we will discuss the multi-threading in detail in future okay don't worry for that we will discuss this concept separately in future so basically the advantage of multi-threading is achieving a concurrent execution achieving a concurrent execution okay that means executing multiple tasks at the same time simultaneously that is what called as the concurrent execution so this type of approach will surely improve the performance right because you are performing multiple tasks at the same time simultaneously so it will definitely improve the performance right so Java provides a support to develop an application by using multi-threading approach. Okay, that is the reason Java language is called as what multi-threading language or multi-threaded language. Okay, hope oh, this thing is clear. Now the next buzzword. Let's see. That is what platform independent and architectural neutral. Okay, let's see about this. So see using java programming language we can develop such an application which can be executed in any machine irrespective of their operating system or without considering the architecture or software and hardware that's why java is considered as platform independent language okay and you know because of that reason only some people released a slogan as vora it means write once run anywhere okay example for example write write a program in windows and run on linux yes it is possible for java based application how it is possible we will see in the next lecture okay so the next buzzword is is what object oriented language java is also called as the object oriented language right so java is called as object oriented language because everything is java is based on what class and classes and objects in fact in java the data is stored in the form of objects java is not 100 percent object oriented it is partially object oriented language we will see the complete story of object oriented language in further lectures okay for now this much is this much is enough for you to understand you know why java is called as the object oriented language in the interview you can say just these two points that is more than enough okay and later on you will learn more things why java is not 100 percent object oriented that also you can mention in the interview okay that is not a problem so let's see the next next buzzwords what is that was buzzword that is what distributed so why java is called as distributed programming language before that before starting this you should know the meaning of distributed right distributed application so see if a java application is designed using client server architecture then that application is known as distributed application okay or if i can say or if i can say in a simple language so java language is distributed language because we can develop distributed applications using java these distributed applications are nothing but a web applications what is that web applications okay hope this thing is clear so to develop to develop distributed applications we have java based technologies like rmi corba web services etc okay in order to develop this distributed applications so hope this thing is clear this word is clear distributed okay so basically the distributed applications are nothing but a web application only and the next point the next point is what the next buzzword is what network why java is called as the network programming language you know you know we can develop internet as well as internet applications using the java provided apis which which type of applications we can develop intranet 
and internet applications using the Java provided APIs. That's why Java is also known as network programming language. So for developing intranet application, we can use dedicated APIs which is present in Java SC. Okay. And for developing internet application, we can use the dedicated APIs which is present in Java EE. Okay, so JSE and Java EE are different flavors of Java. Okay, this both are what different flavors of Java. We will see everything. Don't worry. So uh, might be uh, you have a question when to go for internet application and when to go for internet application. So see intranet application are generally preferred by small scale organizations. Okay. And the internet applications are, you know, generally preferred by large scale organization. Which one? Internet application. Okay. So we are done with the features of Java here. In the next lecture, we will discuss the platform independent nature of Java. So thanks for your valuable time. Please subscribe our channel for further updates.